Hello, my friends. Welcome back. I hope you're getting a lot out of these videos. Give me feedback so I can make more and help you with what you need. But today we have, uh, I want to do a quick video of stretches that you can do while at work. A lot of us sit a lot all day. <laughs> and so I wanted to show you some to help fix, fix this posture. Sometimes we get some rounded shoulders because we type, we drive, we eat, we sit and watch TV, we're looking at our phones, and so we're always in this position. And, or when we're sitting, we have shortened hamstrings, shortened hip flexors, and our lower back doesn't have to do much work. So let's try to do some stretches that you can do on your lunch break, you can do on a a regular break, a 15 minute break at work that will actually help counteract some of that that's happening, all right? We're not gonna do a warm up. I want you to be able to just go to one minute into this video, follow along with the stretches and you'll be good, okay? For your hamstrings. First is just a little straight leg kick out. So you push, put that right foot forward, dig that heel into the floor. Slight bend in the knee because you don't want it to be behind your knee. And all you're going to do is lean forward. That's it. It's so easy. And you should feel a nice stretch in your hamstrings. So we're gonna we're gonna hold here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and good. Let's switch sides. Slight bend in that knee and kick that hip. Hip, hips back, can brace for your, so your lower back doesn't have to do any work. You can just brace your knee on your hand. We'll hold here for another 10, 9, 8, 7. It should feel good. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, so let's do a quick calf stretch as well as hip flexor stretch. So you're just going to push the back heel, uh, like your right heel into the floor. Make sure your toe is pointing forward because uh, we have a tendency to turn our toes out. We, and that's because your calf is tight uh, on the lateral part. So the toe, it purposely turns that toe out. So let's fix that toe so we can stretch the calf the way it's supposed to. Uh, slight bend in that knee if you need to. And now, because I don't want you to feel any knee pain. All right, so if you need to put a slight bend, that's fine. Push those hips forward. And now raise your right arm. So you're going to get a huge stretch through your hip flexor, that front of the hip, and hopefully you're getting a calf stretch. If you're not getting a calf stretch, I'll show you a different, different exercise. But I wanted to make sure that you're getting a nice, nice calf stretch here. The other, or hip flexor. The other thing is, if you lean a little bit to the side, it'll help stretch into some different connecting muscles there. So we're going to hold here for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and done. Good. So we'll switch sides. Push that left toe or left heel into the floor. Both toes pointing forward here. So check that back toe because the tendency is for it to turn out. Slight bend if you need to in that knee or you can lock it out, whatever's comfortable. And let's raise that left arm. Should be a nice stretch through those hip flexors here. Ah, now, if you want to lean to the side and get even more of a, a stretch, you can. Should feel good, though. So here's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, so let's, let's make sure we get your calves. Um, most of us probably have rolling chairs for our, our job, so I wanted to show you on a rolling chair <laughs> how that works. You're actually going to be using the legs of the chair, so making sure your chair doesn't move. You're going to put the ball of your right foot on the chair leg and then just step forward, Keep trying to push your heel into the floor. Ladies, if you're wearing high heels, you should be taking your shoes off for this, by the way. <laughs> you can go barefoot for 10 minutes. But just push, and if you um, try to straighten that knee, you're going to get an amazing stretch in, in that calf. So we're going to hold here for another 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now, hopefully your chair will allow you to do this. Um, now you're gonna bend that right knee in and it's gonna move the stretch into the bottom part of your, your calf. So hopefully you have the mobility in your ankle to do this as well. So here's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Let's switch feet. So left ball of your foot goes on the, the chair leg, and you'll just lock out your knee, trying to push that left trying to push that left heel into the floor. So we're stretching the upper part of our calf right now. Ah. Here's six, five, four, three, two. Now bend that left knee. And now it should move the stretch into the bottom part of your soleus. Or yeah, so the bottom part of your calf, which is your soleus. So we'll hang out here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and done. Good. Okay. Let's do a chest stretcheroo. Well, let's get upper back first. So hopefully, if you want to use your desk because it's more stable, you can. If you have the rolly chair that you want to use, that's fine too. But you're just, we've done this stretch in other videos. You're just going to let your head fall between your arms and it helps get through your thoracic spine. It helps pull those shoulders back, believe it or not. So if it's too painful and you want to, you know, do your um, forearms on the back of the chair instead of your hands, it lessens the stretch just a little bit. But you're putting a slight bend in your knees. Here's six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great. Now hopefully you can get that chair out of the way. Hopefully you have a space on your wall where you can uh, stand or maybe your door would work too. But So your heels as close as you can to the wall, your glutes against the wall, and your, your shoulder blades. Okay, and then you're going to just have your elbows high. So if this is, this, we're trying to open up your stretch or your chest right now. So... Uh, belly button to your spine and then if you want to do even more of a stretch you can just take those hands overhead and it'll stretch a different part of your chest and then we can come back down okay if you want to come all the way in you can and that'll help activate some back muscles to help counteract what's happening through your chest so just going up and down three or four times and good okay we're going to do one more Put that palm on the wall and turn away. So this is a big chest opener here. And you can either do a bent elbow or you can do a, a straight arm elbow. Like, like, like lock that elbow out. It's gonna, if you lock the elbow out, it'll stretch more through your bicep. Might not be quite as much chest. Depends, I'll let you decide. But all you're gonna do is just turn away from that hand. It's so easy, right? Four, three, two, and one. Let's switch sides. So you can lock out that elbow or you can bend the elbow, but you're just trying to turn away as much as you can to get a nice stretch through that chest. Feels good, right? Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's do a nice little upper back stretch because our, tra our traps can get tight sometimes. So we're going to round out those shoulders and then we'll lift so you're trying to pull your shoulders down while you're lifting your right right shoulder. Rotate. Lift that left shoulder, dropping that right down. Here's six, five, four, three, two, and done. Okay, Whew. hopefully that helps. And it was only just a few minutes and have a great day. See you at the next video. Hey, 
If you got value out of this video, please subscribe and also comment below what else you'd like to see because this channel is for you to help you be better in your everyday life. Thanks for subscribing. Tell your friends about it and we'll see you on the next video.